go. I'm Chris, this is my 2009 Keystone Cougar SRX 300. Um, right away you can see we have a $600 Kurt load leveling hitch on here that prevents all sway and uh, reduces tongue weight. We have welded in a cross member so that you can run with the tailgate down on your pickup truck. Um, we put a small razor in the back of our pickup and so we can run and make full turns with the tailgate down. We've added a Super Brute uh, HSB 5000R electric tongue jack by Husky. This is probably about the best tongue jack you can get. Um, this is rated way higher than this tongue weight. Um, I think we could have used a 2,500 pound. I believe this is a five or 8,000 pound. Uh, you turn it on, got LED lights, and this is just running off camper power right now, off the batteries and the solar. Um, as we said, we've added this cross member, moved it back and recessed these propane tanks so they are down low. We rewired everything, put it in nice neat junction boxes with 40 amp flip breakers inside. Um, we ran the two um, deep cycle batteries inside of here. We had three, we pulled one out because it was overkill. We didn't need it. Um, this is the only light that's not LED on this camper. We have uh, under front end storage here. This little light set up in there. Keep your spare stuff. Uh, the batteries are tucked up there. They have 125 watt um, heat breakers on them. So if something ever did cross a battery, it's right at the positive side. So it would flip the breaker. Um, four leveling jacks on each corner, all in great condition. We run those up and down with a cordless screw gun we bring along. It takes a three quarter inch socket. You could do it by hand if you wanted to. I'm not sure why you would. Uh, this outdoor carpet goes with it. Um, we have nice fold up steps. This is our water heater access. You can change the magnesium rod and drain it every year. We have an outdoor outlet fridge access, hot water heater and um, heater vent exhaust. We have e, e series tires on here in pretty good shape still. They probably have about 7,000 miles on them. These are the high run, the common trailer, but I did get E series that way you can haul a little bit faster. Um, we have a spare. Those tires run about 80 to hundred bucks a piece. They're probably at least half tread. This is to flush out the toilet. If you want to add clean water and help flush that, this is a spray port. We have a little hose and a spigot that hooks in there and you can wash your dirt bike, your motorcycle, whatever you want to wash with that. Over here we have the ramp. I've got it in a double fold out configuration. So it's a much less angle. It's probably 10 feet long doing it this way. Um, oftentimes, oftentimes I just leave this and I drive up it like that. Um, if you had a big heavy street bike or something, good chance that that's what you'd want to do. You just pull these, these simply pin in, they go under the front storage. Fully height adjustable, depending on where you're at. On the outside, um, you can see some of the original decals are up in this corner. They get weather checked and cracked. So what we've done down here is pulled them off, some gooby gone and masked them off and painted. Um, we put a new, new decal on right here. So let's head around to the back. We added a ladder because we access this membrane roof every year. We power wash it and then we coat it with the stuff you're supposed to coat it with, the UV protectant. Um, we've never had a leak yet. It's in great shape. We added this three quarter inch plywood back here. We bolted it into all the studs so that we could attach freely things so that when we welded this bumper rack on, we could attach things like a propane tank, barbecue grill, and then we have a place to secure them. This generator goes with it. This is the energizer. 
EZV 3200. It's 3200 peak watts, 2800 continuous. Six hours run time at 75% load, and it is quiet at 57 decibels. Um, spare tire, and we have a five gallon gas can we keep back here, sits on the bumper nicely. So, this side again, back up. There's our fresh water container. This is to hook to constant water source if you were at a campground. Again, on this side, the stickers up top are weather checked and on bottom is not stickers. Those are painted on. All right, let's go around and go inside. This is uh, an external water port and it sprung a leak one time, so I disconnected it. I just got rid of it. We don't need plumbing running all the way across this camper. You could reconnect it if you chose to, but to me, it seems completely unnecessary with a port to spray on the other side. Awning's in good shape, no leaks, no tears. And you can see this is the Cougar 300 SRX with the Polar package. I think that just means the underside is insulated well. As you walk in, we have our control panel. This is how we bring our slide out in. And then this, push it until you hear it ratchet. And it is out. Ceiling lights, there's an outdoor floodlight and an outdoor porch light, both in good working order. All lights inside this camper have been replaced with LEDs. We use one twelfth of the power. Um, we'll start here, kitchen. Cutting boards, original to over the double sink. We have lots of pot and pan storage up here. This is a big cabinet. Microwave. There are three things that only work plugged in or generator power. That is the microwave, the air conditioning unit, and the television. This air conditioning unit, I might add, also has a heat function on it, so you can use it as an electric heater. Though I never have because the furnace in here works great. Um, you can make it blow direct on you by opening all these vents. If you close all these vents, then it will blow out the ceiling vents throughout the camper and circulate everywhere. Um, I forgot as we walk in here, Got two big storage drawers over here. Games in that one. We keep tools in this one. Fire extinguisher, lots of hooks in all the right places. Um, you have access to this pot and pan cabinet over here as well. Um, we usually keep baskets and keep pantry type stuff in there. Um, these are speakers on the ceiling. There's four and there are two outside. Um, let's go to the television. Reach down here, turn it on. I think, I don't know if this remote works or not. I never use it. TV slides out or slides back when you're traveling. There's a Velcro strap here to help secure it. Um, if you wanna watch a movie, you just put a movie in right here. It's all hooked up. That'll load in a minute. Have plenty of space for your DVD collection down here. And we've got storage up here that we usually put snacks in. Um, lots of storage up here above the couch. We usually fill this with snacks too. Paper plates, cups, bowls. Um, this bed, pull these pillows, and this bed flips right over and has an air mattress, queen size. Now you can see the television was working. So my daughter shut it off, turn around so you can see the telly. <laughs> And you simply auxiliary, you can run in and play music from your phone, or you've got a radio too. Alright. 
So moving right along, kitchen table. This lowers down onto this frame and makes a full size bed over here for someone to sleep on with these cushions. Um, these cushions lift up. Underneath here is storage. You can fit several, several cases of soda, beer, water underneath of those. There's also drawer access on both of these. Um, overhead dining light, got a reading light over here. All these have been changed out to LED bulbs, which is not cheap. Um, fridge and freezer. Runs off propane going down the road or plug in at a campground and runs off electric. It's pretty good sized. There's a log cabin syrup for reference. So, three burner oven, or stove, excuse me, with an oven. We've made plenty of pizzas in that bad boy. It's still clean though. Um, got a fan here and the over stove light. Let's move on to the master bedroom. This used to be a set of doors that was pretty hokey. We replaced it and changed it to one full-size door. Um, in here, we've got overhead light here and one here. We have a ceiling vent and we have these nice insulated ceiling plugs. Keep it from getting hot. Keep the daylight out if you want. Got overhead storage, both sides. And then over here, we have a Renogy Bluetooth controller in there. Um, you can control it with your phone. That's your solar controller, 200 watts. We also have over here a 1,000 watt inverter. You can see it's pulling 13.8 um, volts right now. And the sun is sinking low on the horizon, but we're still getting some pretty good solar power going on. And we've got two big deep cycle batteries under there. Nice little cup holders on each side. Got some compartments for whatever you want to put by your bed. Um, underneath of this bed lifts up and we've got a tent in multiple life jackets and a vacuum cleaner, all kinds of storage space there. All right. And of course that's an exit window. Should there be a fire? We also have, we have taken the time to custom cut nice little blackout screens for all these windows that will fit up behind the shades and pretty much black out your bedroom. So, all right, and then moving on out. Have some shoe holders affixed down there. Let's go look in the bathroom. Nice Thetford toilet, sink. Um, I live with a lot of girls, so we've got some baskets on the wall for all their cosmetic stuff. Hooks in the right places, medicine cabinet. Um, the bathroom light is switched, which is kind of convenient. And it has a bathtub, I suppose if you're a child, I suppose an adult could sit up in there. I don't know why you would with a shower. Um, also another vent in here with a fart fan on it. Um, we've got a closet storage here. We usually keep raincoats in. Another junk drawer. Um, that's the controller for the fuses. It does need to be held shut with duct tape for some reason. Um, so you've got your regular electrical fuses and then it's too dark to see right there, but you've got your, oh, there we go, thank you, auto fuses. And there's a little red light next to each one of those. If one of them ever blew, none of them ever have, but the little red light lights up to let you know which one's out. Pretty convenient. Um, there's outlets throughout when you're hooked to electricity. Outlets in every room. Got heater controls, turn on the furnace here. Um, this is your water pump turn that on you want water it pumps up till you have pressure off battery um, that's your water heater we'll fire up the water heater about 15 minutes before you want hot water 
This is how you check your battery state. Um, I check it on the Renogy Bluetooth through an app on my phone, tells me everything about those batteries. Fresh water tank level, black water, and there is a gray and a galley, and the galley is the bathtub water. All right, I think that covers the living room pretty well. All right. So let's go into the garage and other bedroom. All right. So, big cabinets. Yep, bi-level shades, you got your darker and your lighter. Storage cabinet up here. It's a pretty huge cabinet, holds a lot of stuff. Um, there's another one down here. You keep a lot of motorcycle stuff in there. Um, we have installed this Craftsman rack up here. We usually hang helmets from it. We bungee them on so they don't bounce off going down the road. We've got, always give me the widest view. We've got a shelf here. We've got another rack here. Um, lots of coat racks in all the right places. Kids have their posters in here. I can assure you we can take those off. There's no damage underneath any of these posters. Kids just like having this stuff up in their room. Um, bottom twin bed holds out. Uh, would hold two kids. This is a top one person bunk. I guess I should fold that out. We have a little uh, truck tailgate thing that we bolted into the studs that uh, we use as a ladder to get to the top bunk. All these are covered with memory foam on top of the factory mattress. Hook up just that easy. Uh, there's also a vent in here. Um, that's not factory. We plumbed that ourselves so that we have heat out here to the garage from the furnace. Um, so the kids can still stay warm in the winter time. We're camping in a lot of these colder high altitude places and still have their door shut and I can still have my door shut. Or if you really want to heat it up or cool it in here, you just open, open the door. Um, lots of little well thought out storage things so kids can put stuff wherever they want to. I think that we've about covered it. Thanks for watching. What? The floor. Oh. Yeah, lots of motorcycle tie downs recessed into the floor. Absolutely, what you would expect in a toy hauler. You know, we also have a, a carpet in here, an area rug that fits perfectly in here and makes this a nice carpeted room. You can see that in some of the pictures in the ad. My daughter wants me to point out the fold down shelf. We also have vents, exhaust vents. If you, you should get a bunch of exhaust in here open those I guess and, and uh, let the exhaust fumes out from running motorcycles in here. All right. There is, uh, the linoleum in this floor has been glued down and cracked. Uh, must have just gotten too cold and too hot expansion through the weather and so there is a crack running through this linoleum. It runs all the way across. And we glued it down. It's barely noticeable. You could replace linoleum in here. I don't know, it's a camper. It seems like a lot of work to replace linoleum just for that crack. All right, I think that almost covers it. I guess we got a TV antenna in here that cranks up. There is an outlet in the ceiling if you wanted to mount a TV over there and a cable hookup. All right. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, email me at cjm1026 at gmail.com. Thank you.